the 1985 masterpiece of modern cinema, Real Genius, the luminous Severn Darden, in his seminal role as college president Dr. Meredith, said, I think the young people enjoy when I get down verbally, don't you? Hey, speaking of tortured pros, a couple of weeks ago I made extant my interest in procuring a Leica M camera. I know it's the fashion of our time to have a compelling why for such a move, some unassailable and ironclad rationale to ward off the terrifying hordes of naysayers and trolls. Well, sorry, I don't have one, but I do have this. Ah, the Leica M8, fresh from the arid desert climbs of Las Vegas, Nevada. And this camera is something of a gamble for me. Having never shot a single frame with any rangefinder camera, and certainly not one with a red dot, I didn't know what to expect. Heck, could I even take a reasonably sharp image? So here we are, some 48 hours into the journey. Well, sort of. I've had the body for about a week but didn't realize until it arrived that my adapted glass, which was made for SLR cameras, wouldn't allow me to use the rangefinder focusing mechanism. Hey, surprise! So I upped the ante, went all in in the parlance of Sin City, and traded my dear Canon 5D Classic and a lens for my first bit of rangefinder glass, the Zeiss C Biagon 35mm f2.8. So first the good. Number one. Hot dog, this just feels like a well-made piece of kit. It's all solid, mostly metal, and even the plastic bits feel sturdy. There's good resistance on the control wheel and the buttons relative to some other more modern bodies I've shot, where those things feel flimsy and fiddly. Number two, battery life is solid. Doubtless the fact that there's no live view or EVF helps here. And look, I don't have the technical data, but it passed my litmus test. I shot for over an hour and still had more than half the battery left. That'll work for my intended purposes. Number three, I like the way the images look. From a color science perspective, I don't know that I could tell the difference between these files and my dearly departed 5D classic, but they look good to me and having like it in my hands makes me want to shoot. It's sometimes challenging to take a step back in the face of such newness and excitement and honestly appraise the challenging aspects of a new piece of gear, especially one that replaced a much-loved classic, but I will endeavor to do so. Okay, deep breath. Challenge number one, rangefinder focus will take a bit of getting used to, to me at least. Maybe you took to it like Laszlo Hollyfeld to the Frito-Lay sweepstakes, but I will have to work on it. At the very least, I find it more challenging to trust. With my work camera, the Sony a7 III, I have the ability to punch in with the EVF to check for critical focus, which is especially useful with manual glass. Not so with the M8. The rangefinder seems accurate, and when I nail it, the Zeiss glass is incredibly sharp, but my hit rate is definitely lower, and focusing in low contrast situations is a skill I have not yet mastered. Number two, it's noisy at higher ISOs. Based on what I had read, this wasn't a surprise. But folks were right when they talked about significant noise, even at ISO 640. Lightroom can help a lot, but there are limitations here, especially in low light. Number three, the right hand ergonomics. I haven't decided if I'm going to get one of those thumb grips that mounts in the hot shoe, or if I'm going to get one of those base plate hand grip jobs, but I'll be getting one at least. I haven't been able to find a way to hold it that's both comfortable and stable. You could really help me out here by telling me which option you prefer and why in the comments section below. I'm going to stop there. The M8 is about to make its first trip into the deep woods of rural Missouri. Wish me luck. If I don't post another video in a week or two, thanks for watching. Epilogue. I made it back safely. Here's a few photos from the hike. Hey, it means a lot to me that you stuck around to make sure that I was okay. You're a special, special person. And goodness knows we need each other now more than ever. People helping people. And since you've come this far, maybe you'll consider taking just one more step. A like or subscribe would mean a lot. Thanks a bunch and have a great day.